you know, the trick, generally speaking, in life is to try to get someone to pay you for what you already want to do. And um, when we were asked if there was a way that we could think of to promote Dungeons and Dragons, like, yeah, I, I think I can figure something out. I'm Angel Bird. I think it was about 10 years now ago that we started it. Originally, WotC, which is the coast, came to us and said, hey, we're releasing Dungeons & Dragons 4th edition, and we're looking for some interesting ideas about how to, you know, get the word out. Whenever we're doing some kind of a creative project, the thing that we like the most is to just get one of our friends involved. And the friend that we got involved back then was Scott Kurtz. Jerry was a big D&D fan. I had never played a role-playing game. Um, Scott had played before, but was sort of a lapsed player. So between the three of us, we sort of represented the, the whole spectrum of players, I think. That very first AI podcast is my first time ever playing d and I, I rolled Jim Dark Magic, named him everything right there. We got a panel at PAX East to do Acquisitions Incorporated as live theater. The idea that it would work as a stage show honestly surprised me because we're really just sitting at a table rolling dice with you know hundreds of people in the audience watching you play Dungeons and Dragons. It was really ridiculous. It's that's not the reputation of that product. That product is to be used in secret, primarily downstairs. You know, it's Dungeons and Dragons is all theater of the mind, right? So, you know, it's fun to sit there and you imagine this great thing, but to sit and watch four people imagine things <laughs> seems like a tough sell. But here we were, you know wondering what would happen. We had an eight person, we had an 800 person theater for Acquisitions Incorporated that year and people were standing in the back. That, that was not the expectation. Years back, um, I'd known Mike and Jerry off and on. Uh, you know, they had read my books, and uh, Jerry had actually beta read book two for me. And so they ended up needing somebody for the fourth chair. There was a scheduling conflict, and Will Wheaton couldn't make it. And I said, "Hey, do you want to come in and and you know play with us? You know, play some D and D?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that that sounds like a blast." By the time I came in, it was pretty big. You know, it had been going for a couple of years. I was really nervous, actually, because listening to the podcast and seeing all of them at the table together, they're very funny people. They're, like, professionally funny people. What yes, the Jerry. fuck is going on here, man? <laughs> <clears throat> I was given a budget. <laughs> there are so many videos that people had recorded for Ack Inc., like, just on their own. There was some of the official ones, and... We were the only ones who didn't have any Acquisitions Incorporated videos. We were the only people who didn't. Yeah, I think we went to Wizards of the Coast and asked them about it because, you know, we do the live shows on stage, but we only have so much time. They're a couple hours. And to really get it into a and d game, I mean, you need time. You need, and so we filmed the series over the course of two full days of playing. We were able to put together a, a pretty, like, I think a pretty solid 
Acquisitions Incorporated show. Yeah, it's it's definitely gotten bigger and bigger. A lot of people know me and recognize me only as the guy who plays Viari, and they don't know a thing about my books. You know, recording this series, the cameras just sort of disappear, and you're hanging out with your friends just like you did when you were 12, you know, getting shit done. So PAX West is where we, we go all out in terms of the set and our costumes. The West game is, I was going to say borderline ridiculous spectacle, but it's not borderline. It's 100% ridiculous. This is the one where we all dress up. You know, there's more pageantry. It, it's, it's a real different experience. And, you know, that said, like, the props are super fucking cool.